Hi, I'm Chantal Gerardi and I'd like to talk to you today about hashtags and when should you use them and why. So I'm going to screen share for you today and we'll go straight to this presentation that I've set up on hashtags. So when it comes to hashtags, you want to make sure that you familiarize yourself with your industry related hashtags and then niche them down. Remember, it's what your customers will be searching for, not what you are offering necessarily. You want to categorize your content, find content about a specific product or service and stalk other hashtags that fall under this category. You also want to make sure that you go and you follow those hashtags or show interest in those hashtags too. So you know what I like to say, what is your overall intention? Is it to follow and join in conversations, therefore show your expertise and credibility uh, and putting yourself in front of those people? Or is it to add your content to conversations to be recognized, or so that people can actually find you, or your ideal clients can find you by searching those hashtags. So remember, people need to be able to search you for those hashtags. Now, remembering that Facebook, you don't really need to be using hashtags. So we'll talk a little bit later how hashtags are used. But for now, try using hashtags which include your non-negotiables. So your point of difference, location, your niche, or specific service. Okay. Now at the time of putting together this presentation, this is what was working. Okay. So Instagram. Uh, to use seven popular, seven niche, and seven unique to your business. It's a good idea to use hashtags with over 10,000 users, that should say users, uh, but under 300,000. So with over, over 10,000 users, but under 300,000. So uh, you can integrate your Instagram into your Facebook. Uh, Facebook bought out Instagram, so they are now run by the same company, so there is a, little, a lot more integration between the two. However, if you are posting on Instagram and you've set it up to go directly onto your Facebook profile, remember there's always going to be less engagement and also whatever hashtags you use on Instagram, they're now going to be on your Facebook profile and Facebook doesn't work with hashtags. So I encourage you to go into your Facebook profile and uh, edit the post and just delete those hashtags because Facebook is a search engine. So if you go and you search words, just like in Google, it will come up. You don't need to have those hashtags there. So just because we're doing hashtags, I have written a little bit here about LinkedIn and Twitter. So they're the same family as well. So they use three to five topic-based hashtags, which are less niche or trendy. And you can, also use, uh, you can also use communities to discover new and relevant hashtags to follow. So you can integrate your LinkedIn and Twitter accounts so that they talk to each other because they're the same family and they've got the same uh, post account and hashtags available. Um, with regards to On Facebook, in Instagram, LinkedIn, search that hashtag everywhere and see who else is using it because you don't want to be associated with the incorrect hashtag. So for example, the hashtag that I use is Chantel said, my name is a funny spelling. So uh, many, there's not a many Chantels out there uh, and I use my hashtag. The other thing you could do is you could ride off other people's hashtags as long as it is industry related and it's gonna give your business credibility. So as I said earlier, Facebook is like Google. It doesn't need hashtags to, sh to search unless you're using it to include your personal hashtag, uh, like Chantel said, then uh, it isn't really necessary. Please note that group admins may use hashtags in Facebook groups as a way of controlling which content goes on which day. But this is a group admin choice. It is not actually a Facebook necessity. So I hope that helps give you a little bit more clarity with regards to hashtags. What I like to do is create a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet, and I put all my popular hashtags, all my niche hashtags, all my unique ones. And when I do research with my competitors, I have a look at what they're doing. I have a look at which hashtags are quite popular and which hashtags my ideal clients are using. And I create a three, uh, three columns, uh, and I just keep adding, adding, adding all those hashtags to that. And then when I go to post, I use that hashtags that are relevant for that particular post because it has to translate, it has to resonate with that post. Um, and I always mix up the order because Facebook profiles do not like spam. So they do not like repetition. Uh, they do not like you uh, doing things uh, the same, same every single time. So you want to make sure that you're mixing it up so that you can fly under the radar. But the good news is you do not need them for Facebook. So I hope that that has given you some clarity with regards to hashtags. 